This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. We're still in the negotiating stage, but there are still many questions surrounding the Bahamas' ascension to the World Trade Organization. For instance, what is the future of the country? Tackling the issue during the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce breakfast meeting this morning was the country's point man, Javargo Lang, who said it's certainty of investment and exposure. We kind of have our cakes and eat it too. So you have 15 areas reserved. So the Bahamians who want to go in those areas have a challenge with competition. But every other Bahamian in almost every other sector has competition. How is that fair? I can tell you this much though. The ones who are in the, who have to compete in the open spaces, because of that, they have had to thrive in such a way that they can play on any field anywhere. So I have done economic work for other countries. That's the future for my children and yours. We have got to make sure that they are equipped enough to offer their skills and talents and to compete in business anywhere in the world. Because one day, the, the, just by growth, the field for supplying locally is going to be saturated. Then what do you do? With 15 areas reserved or protected for Bahamians, Mr. Lang says if joining the organization doesn't work out, the Bahamas can leave. If you decide Mr. Lang Lewis was stupid in getting us into the WTO, Article 15 of the World Trade Organization uh, agreement says any member can withdraw from this agreement by submitting notice of withdrawal and such notice shall take effect six months after the notice has been received. You can get out when you wish. The Bahamas' decision to join the WTO dates back as far as 18 years ago. Mr. Lang says nothing will be complete in terms of fully joining until 2021. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs weighing in on the U.S. State Department's recent advisory on the Bahamas. Again, U.S. travelers are being urged to exercise increased caution as violent crimes such as burglaries, armed robberies, and sexual assault are said to be common in the Bahamas. The cautionary note regarding the inconsistent regulation of the commercial recreational watercraft industry also makes a return as well as the over-the-hill areas. The ministry indicating though that despite this, the, US guide, the U.S.'s guidance rather to its citizens remains at level two, which recommends caution but not actually urging delay or cancellation of travel plans to the Bahamas, which falls in line with Bahamian recommendations to travelers to any destination. That aside, officials stress that the vast majority of the millions of visitors to the Bahamas vacation here without incident and the Bahamas is working to ensure this remains the case. Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands confirming a case of chicken gunya here in the Bahamas fueling concerns that the viral illness could, as it did a few years back, lead to other such cases. Chicken gunya is spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. The most common symptoms are fever and joint pain. Other symptoms may include headache, muscle pain, joint swelling or rash. The Bahamas is looking to a world leader in e-government and digital innovation for advice on how to effectively use technology to transform government services. And having done just that, Estonia has the answers. The opportunity to sit down and talk about such matters came during a bilateral meeting between Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis and the President of Estonia on the sidelines of CARICOM's 30th intercessional meeting in St. Kitts. As noted by the Prime Minister, the world is moving in the direction of digital transformation and if the Bahamas fails to prepare or keep up with advances, it will be left behind. Relegated not to a third world country, but a fourth, a modernization unit has been established in the office of the Prime Minister and senior government officials took part in e-governance training at Estonia's e-governance academy last October. Representatives from the e-governance academy all also recently visited the Bahamas to hold meetings with private and public stakeholders rather who will be involved in transforming government services. The goals to streamline government
government procedures and services by making them available online, increase the use of ICTs in the public sector and by the government, increase transparency of government, and strengthen auditing and control mechanisms. From the crime beat, police seize dangerous drugs and a firearm, but no such luck bringing in a suspect. Acting on intelligence, officers from the Drug Enforcement Unit yesterday executed a search warrant on a Fowler Street home and found a man who took off, to, who took off rather upon seeing the police. However, a search of the home revealed 20 packages of marijuana, a .45 pistol with 12 rams, rounds of ammunition. Another 20 packs of drugs were found outside. The total weight of the drugs, 6.6 .6 pounds, fetching an estimated street value of $6,600. Over an Exuma, a .40 Glock 9mm pistol with 13 rounds of ammunition was found near a business in the Georgetown area. Again, no one was arrested. Our final story is up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.